Hey everyone, it's Izzy here with the third inning podcast. So I am sorry that you guys did not get an episode last week. I was in Cleveland, Ohio. You can see those vlogs on my YouTube channel, Izzy Rain. But that's not the purpose of, well, it kind of is. We're going to be talking about the games that I went to in Ohio. And then I did go to a minor league game on Thursday in South Carolina where I'm from. But we only start the podcast with scores and standing, so we are going over to MLB at bat. It's in the App Store if you guys would like to download it. So, obviously, we we are in the middle of Sunday. It's 4.23 p.m. So, the, the games are still going on. So, the Dodgers are beating the Pirates 10-6, and it is the bottom of the sixth, or the end of the sixth. And the Dodgers are going for a sweep. And in your MLB TV game of the day, which by the time this is up, the game will be over. I'm so sorry. But it's Tampa and the Indians with Tampa winning 6-3 to three in the bottom of the ninth. Um, in the bottom of the seventh, we have the Nats beating the Marlins 9-0. to zero. In the top of the seventh, the Twins are beating the White Sox 4-0. to zero. In the bottom of the seventh, and I think this is the game that's on TV today, is the Red Sox and Astros. The Sox went in 3-1, to one, which I, I literally... They had their series on TV last week when I was in Cleveland, so I don't know why it's on again. Kind of annoying, because I don't like either of those teams, but I don't choose what MLB puts on TV. So we had the Brewers are beating the Phillies 7-1 in the top of the 7th. Um, the Yankees are losing to the Royals 4-7, to and I think the Yankees were going for a, uh, they're going for 8 in a row, I think, but it's the top of the 8th, so I don't know what's going to happen there. So the Reds are beating the Cubs 6-0, to zero, top of the 6. I saw the Reds um, last week. Um, in the bottom of the 5th, we had the Orioles beating the Rockies 1-0. to zero. And then the Diamondbacks are beating the Giants 2-0 to zero in the bottom of the 1st. In the top of the 2nd, we had the Angels beating the Rangers 1-0. to zero. In the bottom of the 1st, we had 0-0 zero, zero with the Mariners and A's. And then um, later at 7.05, the Braves will be playing the Cardinals in St. Louis. Um, earlier today, the Blue Jays beat the Padres 10 to 1 in Toronto. And in New York, the Mets lost to the Tigers 4 to 3. Or no, the Mets won. Sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, the Mets won 4 to 3. We are going to go over to First Pitch, which is Minor League Baseball's app. And it's loading. So they still don't have scores on here. Why? I do not know. Whoever runs this app needs to get their act together. So we are going to Class A. We don't do rookie ball or Class A short season because I don't really know much about it, to be honest with y'all. But okay, um, we have ads coming up. That's the one thing with these apps. These ads come up and they play over and over. So in the 2019 Midwest League standing, the Mid-Eastern, we had the Great Lakes 30 to 16, Lake County 30 to 19, Bowling Green 29 to 20, South Bend 26 to 21, Fort Wayne at 21 to 25, Lansing 20 to 28, West Michigan 18 to 30, Dayton 15 to 34. And then in the Midwestern, we have the Quad Cities at 30 15, Burlington 28 to 21, Kane County 27 to 22, Clinton 25 to 23. Cedar Rapids, 24-25, Wisconsin, 22-25, Peoria, 21-27, and Beloit, I'm probably saying that wrong, 16-31. Then in the South Atlantic League, which I went to a South Atlantic League game this week, so in the South Northern, we had Delmavara is 37-11, Greensboro, 33-15, Hickory, 31-17, West Virginia, 23-25, Hagerstown, 23-26, I want to say that wrong, but um, Kannapolis, 20-28, and hold on there, add, that's my one complaint with um, baseball apps, there's only these ads, but okay, Kannapolis, 20-28, Lakewood, 16-32, now moving on to the South Southern, which is what I saw. We had Charleston at 26 to 23, Rome 25 to 24, Lexington 23 to 25. I literally went in almost all these cities, like half these cities this past week, but okay. Lexington 23 25, Augusta 23 26, Greenville, I saw them this week, is Greenville is 21 to 28, Asheville 19 to 29, and Columbia 19 to 30. Columbia is my local team, one of them. 
and that I saw them lose, but we are talking about my major league games I went to first. So I went to two games in Cincinnati. I have never seen the Reds before, so that was adding a team to my list. So the first game was against the Cubbies, and it was Game of Thrones night, and I'm looking at the Dodger schedule, wrong schedule. Um, so we're going to teams, um, NL Central, we have the Reds, and we, we are going to their schedule, and I think it was this one, yeah. So the game I went to, the first game I went to, it was Game of Thrones night, as I said, and next week's podcast is going to be a live show, so be sure to tune in. I don't know what time or anything yet, but as we get closer um, to Sunday, I will let you get in. Maybe it's, it's maybe Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure which one, but as we grow closer, I will let y'all know um, more of the details. So follow me on Twitter. It is always down below in the pinned comment, and if it's not... Or in, not in the pin comment, in the description. If it's not, comment telling me and I will give you all my Twitter. But um, we were doing a live show and we are going to be seeing bobbleheads, t-shirts, hats, a lot of cool stuff. So um, be sure to check in for that because it's going to be live and it's going to be video. So you're going to be able to see me. Um, we have done one of these before after um, spring training we did one. And I was thinking of doing one this week, but uh, it just didn't happen because uh, today is a very busy day. But, um, okay, so back to May 15th, 2019. I saw the Cubs playing the Reds. And I have seen the Cubs before. I saw them play the Marlins in Miami a few years ago. Two or three, I'm not sure. But, um... So I'm just going to give y'all kind of the wrap on this game. So it was 10 innings and it's kind of funny. This was my first major league game of the year um, in the regular season because as I said, I did go to spring training. But um, they, the, my first one last year was the Nats and Diamondbacks and it went to 10 innings. My first game this year went into 10 innings. So I wonder if next year will be the same. Who knows? So the, um, I don't know if this is off the time, but it says the Cubs record is 25-15, and at the time I saw them, because uh, I'm not sure what the standings are right now, they were number one in the Central, and the Reds were last place and second the last worst team in the NL, and their record is 19-24, to so this was like Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. So, in the top of the first, or in the second, uh, the Cubs got two runs, and then in the fourth, both teams got a run, and then in the seventh, both teams got a run, and then in the eighth, the Cubs got one run, and the Reds got two, and then in the tenth, the Reds got one run, and that means five runs for the Cubs, six for the Reds, and the Cubs had nine hits, and the Reds had 12, and the Reds had one error, when the Cubs had zero. So our winning pitcher was Garrett, I don't know what his first name is. And saluting. Um, Amir Garrett, that's my guess. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, so he is 3-1 to one with 1.56. And then our losing pitcher was Brack. Brad Brack, that's my guess. Um, and his um, he's 3-1 to one and 2.55. So our Cub home runs were by Addison Rush- Russell. And... Um, Omora Jr. I don't know his first name. Albert Omora Jr. And by Shorber. And we know I have a hard time with those names. Um, Kyle Shorber. Then with the Reds, we had a home run by is it Jose. Yeah, Jose Iglesias. And by... Eugenio Soros, um, first name, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah, so, um, Puig and the Red Stun Cubs for first walk-off win of 19, of 2019, Puig's one of my favorite players, so I actually have a Dodger jersey of his, um, my one and only Dodger jersey is a Puig jersey, every time I get a jersey, the player gets traded, or signs of somebody else, kind of sucks, but it's okay, um, so yes, so that game was Game of Thrones night. I um, got to sit on the Iron Throne, which was a lot of fun. And as I said, there is a vlog of it on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. So moving on, um, they the Cubs played them again on um, Thursday. 
And then on Friday, I got to see my team, the Dodgers. I did not get to see the Dodgers last year. I had tickets for my birthday, but I ended up selling my tickets because I was sick and couldn't go to the game, which was very depressing. So I did not get to see the Dodgers last season because they only come out to Atlanta once a year. But um, I did get to see them play the Reds because I was originally going to be going to the Indy 500, actually, which was today. But um, the dates didn't work out, so we were like, okay, we're still, we'll are still still go to the Midwest because we still wanted to go to baseball games as well. So um, we did go to the Midwest. We just didn't go to the Indy 500. Um, so the Dodgers won 6-0 to zero at the Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio on May 17th, 2019. So the Dodgers record, the Dodgers are the best team in the NL, at least when I went to the game. I'm not sure about right now, but their record was 30 to 16 and the Reds are 20 to 25. So nobody got any runs in the first and the second, the Dodgers got two runs and the third, the Dodgers got two runs and the um, six, the Dodgers got one run, and in the eighth, they got run, one run, the Reds got zero. So the Dodgers had six total, Red zero. The Dodgers had ten hits, and the Reds had three, and neither of the teams had an error. So if you're wondering who got home runs for the Dodgers, Corey Seager did, Jock Peterson did, Max Muncy did, and Cody Bellinger did. And, um... Oh yeah, I'm, I completely skipped the pitchers. So Rich Hill was the winning pitcher for the Dodgers. He's 1-1 one, one, and 3. And then our losing pitcher for the Reds was D. Scalafani. I'm totally saying that wrong. Um, don't know his first name, but he is 2-2 two, two and 4.60. Um, so it says Dodgers 6 Reds 0. Dodgers bash 4 home runs to back 10K Hill and win. <laughs> it's on Friday night. I don't know who wrote this, so I'm not actually going to read it. But, um, yeah. So, very cool. I got to see my team. I was very happy about that. So, then I drove up to Cleveland. And if you didn't know, I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast, but I really wanted to see. And I've never seen the Indians before, and I've just crashed. Thanks, MLB. So, um, i never seen the Indians before, but I really wanted to go to Progressive Field, because that's where the All-Star Game is this year. Because I've been going to the stadium and the All-Star Game every year, but next year, it's in LA. So, I probably won't get to go to the stadium. Maybe, fingers crossed, I can go to LA, but um, I don't know how likely that would be for me to actually go to California. But I went to Miami, I went to DC, and now I went to Cleveland, so my streak is three years in a row. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the West Coast, hopefully. I mean, I've been to Dodger Stadium before, but I mean, I uh, I don't know how likely it is. Um but okay, going to the AL Central with our Cleveland Indians. So this game was on Monday of this week um, when I was there, and it was against Oakland. The A's. I have seen the A's before. I saw them in San Francisco during the Bay Series, and it's the coldest game I've ever been to. And then I went to this game, and this is the second coldest game I've ever been to. But okay, we had Oakland at Cleveland on May 20th, 2019. The A's won six at the Indians four. And that was our final at Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio. So the A's record is 23 to 25 and the Indians 25 to 21. So in the first, nobody got any runs. In the second, the A's got one. In the third, the A's got one. In the fourth, the A's got one. In the fifth, the Indians had one. In the sixth, nobody got any. In the seventh, they both got a run. In the eighth, the A's did not, and the Indians did. In the ninth, the A's got two runs, and in the bottom of the ninth, the Indians got one. So that's the A's having six runs, and the Indians having four and the A's had a total of 11 hits when the Indians only had eight and the Indians had one error. So our winner, winning pitcher for the Oakland Athletics was Brett Anderson and he is 5-3, to 4.14. And then um, our losing pitcher, I know I'm going to say his name wrong, Carrasco, I'm not sure, but he's 4-4 with 4.30. And then what's SV mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means, but it says, I don't even know how to say the guy's name. Trinaman? I don't know. But, um, oh, is that save? 
I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm sorry. My baseball knowledge bad. Um, so our Oakland home runs were by Profar, Olsen, and Chapman. And our Cleveland home runs were for Perez and Lindor. So really fun game. And this is actually the first MLB game that I've actually got a Funko Pop at. I've been to MLB stadiums for like Yankee Stadium. They have a Judge Funko Pop and a Stanton Funko Pop, which I have both of them. I got them in New York, but not at Yankee Stadium. Um, they didn't sell the Bryce Harper Funko Pop at Nats Park. So I don't know um, why Cleveland sells their Funko Pop um, for Lindor and the other stadiums don't sell their Funko Pops. But um, so a new segment on the podcast. We are going to be opening a pack of baseball cards every week now because I do collect baseball cards. I have done videos on them before. Again, check them out on my YouTube channel. So this is with Topps 2019 Opening Day Baseball Trading Cards. Look for autograph and relic cards. Ooh. But um, there. this is a 24 pack. So here we go, opening them. Hopefully I can get it open. This would be really bad if I can't. And try right there. Okay, there we go. So our first one is Leclerc. Or oh, okay, it's Jose Le- Leclerc on the Texas Rangers. And I really like how on the back they have the people's social media. I don't see it on that guy's card, but um, sometimes they do. So we have Christian Stewart on the Detroit Tigers. And a lot of the times, I don't know a lot of these cards. I know our next one, but. Um, so my apologies, but we have Anthony Anthony Radon on the Washington Nationals. We have uh, Al, a, Al Alberto Mondesi on the Royals. We have Josh James on the Houston Astros. Matt Kemp on the Dodgers, but he is actually with the Mets now. Um, we have Kirsten Yelich on the Milwaukee Brewers. Rasiel Iglesias on the Reds. I think I saw him. Um, we had Tommy Pham on the Tampa Bay Rays, Daniel Palka on the Chicago White Sox, Blake Snell on the Tampa Bay Rays, and we have 150 Years of Fun, Sandy Koufax on the Los Angeles Dodgers. We have the 150 Years of Fun, Ronald Acuna, Atlanta Braves. So yeah, this is because professional baseball has been around that long. Um, we had the Philly Fanatic mascot for the Philadelphia Phillies. We have Michael Kopech, which I, he played for the um, Charlotte Knights, but he's on the Chicago White Sox now. We have Juan Soto on the Washington Nationals. We have Chris Archer on the Pittsburgh Pirates. We have Buster Posey on the San Francisco Giants. Max Muncy on the Los Angeles Dodgers. We have Steven Piscotti on the Oakland Athletics. We have Fred Mill Reyes on the San Diego Padres. Justin Verlander on the Houston Astros. Uh, o- Odell, o- I don't know, Herrera on the Philadelphia Phillies. And Scooter Gennett on the Cincinnati Reds. And those are our baseball cards for this week on the third inning podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this week's podcast. And I will be back next weekend. And subscribe. Uh, always be here with us. Bye, guys.